places with no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hi everyone, today in honor of my cousin Eddie Grasso's birthday, what um, I'm going to make for you guys are some Christmas themed cupcakes. So the reason I'm making Christmas themed cupcakes is obviously because it's almost Christmas. Today's December 12th, which is my cousin's birthday and since he lives far from me and we can't just, I can't just go to his house and celebrate. Um, I'm making these cupcakes for him, so we will be celebrating virtually. <laughs> um, I took some notes here. I also wanted to thank Eric for helping me with my channel, always being like the first one to watch them, and his sister, Ariana. But since today is Eric's birthday, I just wanted to um, take a moment to thank him for that and to <clears throat> thank him for giving me some tips for my channels. He gives me most of my ideas for my channels as well. So I could say a lot more, but this video would be really long. Happy birthday. Yeah, so um, he doesn't know that I'm making this video. And like I said, since I can't just go to his house and celebrate, and I didn't get him anything for his birthday yet. Yeah. 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 So that's why I'm making this video. So. This video is dedicated to Eric Grasso, Grasso. and um, anyone who's, oh yeah, he has a YouTube channel, well, he's planning on making one, but he doesn't have any videos up yet, and Hasina has a YouTube channel, her YouTube channel is Hasina Amor, mm -hmm. so um, I have one video, so yeah, um, if you guys want to see how to make these videos, Keep watching. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Eddie. One cup of unbleached all-purpose flour, one third of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking powder, three fourths of a cup of sugar, one fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt. I forgot to record this, but you're also going to need half a teaspoon of baking powder. One cup of almond milk, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and a third cup of coconut oil. The first thing I'm adding is the one cup of flour. And I'm going to put all the dry ingredients through the sieve because I'm going to sift them later. Then the cocoa powder, baking powder, baking soda. So now I'm just sifting all the dry ingredients to make sure there are no lumps. So now I'm using a spoon to break down any of the lumps of flour and cocoa powder. And now I'm just going to mix, give them a quick mix before I add the salt. So I just transferred it to another bowl and now I'm adding the sea salt. Let it snow. So now I'm adding one cup of almond milk. So to the milk, I'm going to be adding the apple cider vinegar. And now I'm adding the pure vanilla extract. Then I'm giving them a quick mix. So I just transferred that milk mixture into a bowl. You can see it in the corner there. But now I'm adding the sugar and the coconut oil and then I'm gonna whip those together. So I started at about a one, which is a low. And like I said, we wanna beat these two ingredients. So then I put it up to a two and I ended up going all the way up to the last number, which was a high. But I did that slowly. So here, as you can see, I'm just scraping down the edges, then adding the milk, apple cider vinegar, and vanilla mixture. But first, I'm just gonna give that a quick stir again. Then I'm going to start mixing it with a whisk. And don't worry about the clumps, it's because coconut oil and cold milk, but that's fine. So now I'm adding the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients, and that's about it. Then you're gonna start mixing. So now I'm taking my Christmas cupcake liners and start lining my cupcake tin. So I lined them twice because since it's a dark batter, it will turn them brown. 
so I wanted you to be able to see them so that's why I put two and now I am just filling them so this recipe says it makes about 12 cupcakes but I only got nine so it really depends how you fill them So now I'm tapping them against the counter to get any air bubbles out. So before all of this, I preheated my oven to 325 and they were in there for about 18 to 20 minutes. Then here I'm showing you how the first liner turned brown. Even though this is um, falling off, I still like how it looks better without the dark color. And it's really greasy because of the coconut oil but the cupcakes themselves are not greasy it just seeps through so then I just took some store-bought frosting um, you want to make sure it's white because we're going to dye it green and then here I have some almond milk because I'm going to add a little bit to the frosting because it's a little too thick for my liking then we have some wilting icing colors to dye it green so the color I used is called Kelly Green. So now I'm transferring the frosting to a bowl because it's easier to mix in there. So now I'm adding the food coloring. I'm using a knife because you don't want to add too much because a little goes a long way. And if you add too much, it gives it like a really gross flavor. So just make sure it's not too much. So now I'm just stirring it. And as you saw, I just added more because it was too light. So here I have a jar and I'm using a piping bag with a star tip and I'm just putting the piping bag in the jar to make it easier to put the frosting in the bag. So, so as you can tell that was way easier but now I'm just going to start frosting. And as you can tell I'm holding the cupcake because I feel like I have more control that way. So here, now that they're done, I'm going to take some silver sprinkles to kind of make them look like ornaments. And I also end up using other colored sprinkles. Okay, so this is the final result. I really like how they turned out and they tasted very good. Um, if you guys liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And stay tuned for my other videos.